My first topic on the series is uh, on Kiwetan. Ki we say Kiwetan in uh, Cumberland House. Kiwetan is actually uh, an everyday word and it means uh, the north wind. Uh, we, we say that all the time, Kiwetan. But when you look at the word very carefully, Kiwetan, Kiwe in Kiwetan, Kiwe means go home. When I was growing up, I always used to wonder, I wonder who went home. And later on, when I was uh, going to university, I was thinking more and more about it as to who went home. And uh, it, I was thinking in terms of uh, the movement of peoples. And I was thinking about Cree, and I was thinking about Dene, and I was thinking about anyone. But as I was uh, going to a conference, I was at this conference, and at that conference, there was Danny Musko, Anishinaabe elder. And he mentioned a story which struck and got my attention. It was really a, a story by, on his paternal uh, uh, side, on his father's side, that his grandmother's name was Harriet Key. And she was originally from uh, Shoal Lake in Manitoba. And uh, from, uh, from, from that story, I was able to ascertain after listening that indeed the entity that went home was not really a person or people. It was really Maskami. It was really the ice that went home. I listened and I thought, wow, the people in the story is talking about the glacier going home. And I thought to myself, and here people have been arguing about oral tradition and oral history and saying, look, we can only think back 400 years or 200 years or whatever. But now these are thousands of years. Because when the ice started receding, you know, from the, from the American uh, Canadian border, that was 12 and a half, 12, 000, 12 and a half, 12 and a half thousand years ago. So if the ice was going back home, people knew that it must have come back it came back down and it was now going back home. Why would else would they call it Kiwetan? Interestingly, it was done in science as well. J.B. Terrell had done some research uh, into trying to make get into uh, coal and oil in Alberta and also in regards to mining in Northern Saskatchewan. So he traveled through Northern Saskatchewan and he ended up calling that ice glacier, get this, he called it Kiwetan. Later on, that political area in Canadian history is called the Kiwetan District. And Kiwetan was used from the knowledge that he had gained from the Cree in northern Saskatchewan. And we also used it in everyday, uh, in, in important ceremonies, as a ceremony of the four directions. We have the north is an important and integral part of it. So it stays with us in history through stories, and it stays with us in science literature, and it stays with us in regards to ceremonies. And so it goes to see that we can see history from many dimensions. And Kiwetan tells us that ancient history and the stories that we get can be thousands of years old. And that's what this story does.